Hey, what's up guys? Charles here with D2IPDesigns.com and I'm bringing you all another tutorial. Uh, today I want to go over um, this little stroke effect here. Um, today is probably going to be the last installment of my uh, 2D animation slash intro uh, series for After Effects. And uh, like I said, I'm planning on covering the stroke effect here and then um, this little transition here. Everything else you uh, should pretty well already know from uh, the previous tutorials. So in this composition here, I've already got like a little crappy looking background. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna go to layer, new solid, make this white. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab the pen tool. I'm just gonna make like a little quarter circle. So I'm not gonna be very exacting with it, just something like that. Hold down shift so you can stretch this out straight up and down without it moving back and forth. And then uh, something like that, I'm thinking. And then effect, make sure this is selected. Effect, trap code, 3D stroke. Um, I don't know why, whenever I put the stroke on, it's like offset. So if I just do that, it corrects itself. It's kind of dumb, but whatever. Anyway, um, thickness, I'm going to bring that down to about 7. Taper, let's go ahead and enable that. And then... Uh, Taper start, we can crank that all the way up, bring the taper end all the way down. And then, uh, let's see, turn up the end thickness to 100. And then, uh, let's see here. Okay, that's that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the offset to about minus 50. I'm going to bring the end down to about 50 right there. So there we go. And now I just need to go ahead and uh, animate this. So I'm going to go ahead and set a keyframe here on both of them. Move this forward to uh, about a second. And then I'm just going to go ahead and turn the offset until it goes where I want it to. And let me go ahead and turn off the mask so I can see a little better. And so there we go. So now we have a little circle. So there you go, there's a little stroke effect. And then um, basically what you would do is um, you can just duplicate this um, by hitting Control D and then rotate this around. And then again, rotate that. And so there you go, simple as that. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. So there's the stroke. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead up here Choose the ellipse tool and we'll leave that as is. Then go ahead, make this about that size. Um, the fill, uh, what should we do? We'll do like a dark color like that. We'll give it a small stroke. Um, let's do like a, I don't know, dark blue stroke, I guess. Increase the pixels on it. Uh, something like that and then uh, so let's see what do we do for this one yeah all right so basically what we'll do is uh how do I want to do this I'm trying to think Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this and then I'm just going to change the color of it to something like uh, white and I'm going to turn the stroke off. I'll just come up here and turn it off. So there we go. And um, what I need to do next is just go ahead and scale this down. Hold down Control Shift. So there we go. So now just the blue showing right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just actually you know what let me delete that real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and animate this so we're gonna go to scale I'm gonna bring it all the way down to zero and let's see so set a keyframe for the scale move this ahead and then uh, bring it all the way up to however big you want I'm gonna go with that and now I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this 
I'm going to turn off the stroke. I'm going to make this white. And go ahead and just scale this down like we did last time. And so now this should open up together exactly the same, which they are. So great. Now what we need to do is grab a text layer. And I'll just type in D2AP. And your text layer is going to be the same color as the top here, which is white, obviously. And uh, I'm not going to worry about the font. I'll just leave it on that. And we'll just go ahead and move it here towards the center more. So let's go with something like that. So I'm going to take the uh, opacity on the uh, text and it's going to turn all the way down for now until I'm ready to add it in. So for the top layer here I'm going to go to whoop, effect, uh, transition, and then let's see what did I use? I believe it was a uh, glass wipe I want to say. No, it definitely wasn't that. Here, I'll just look at the other comp and just figure it out real quick. Uh, okay, that's what I used for that. Probably going to have to open up one of these pre-comps, huh? Yeah, okay, grid white. I was going to say grid white at first, but for some reason I didn't think it was that. So, it is indeed grid white. So, there you go. And then now we can, you know, change this to whatever. I'm just going to leave it on radio, I guess. And then, uh, let's see, tiles. We can increase the number of tiles. So there we go. And now what we're going to do is, as this is coming up, I'm just going to animate it. So let's start it, I guess, right here. Move ahead to here. And just make it 100%. And then uh, I'll go ahead and turn this back on. And then just set it below the layer. Okay, so what I need to do is, um, again, I need to turn off the opacity on it and just keyframe it. So, you know, because obviously if we just leave it at, you know, 100% opacity, you'll be able to see it throughout the whole entire thing. So we want to wait till the um, circle is big enough to cover it, which would be right here. So go ahead and keyframe, move ahead. And right before it begins the transition, I want to start. So right about here, we'll bring it in. So just like that. Pretty simple. And then, of course, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could uh, uh, scale it with this so you don't have to do a whole opacity thing. But it's just a little simpler. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, hopefully this has given you a pretty good idea on how to do this stuff, and uh, I'm out of here. Peace.